Hey, how you doing everybody? This is Jerome in Real Estate here, and today I wanna to go over a program called the PATH program. Um, I came across this program because I sat down with two representatives of First Bank here in Colorado Springs, and um, they told me all about this program, sent me some uh, reference material on the website, and I just wanna go over it with you, just, um, because I don't want you to miss anything. So this is a program specifically geared towards the black and African-American community. Um, so it is called the PATH program and PATH stands for providing access to home ownership. It's kind of like a conjunction between the Chaffa program and First Bank. Chaffa is Colorado's housing and finance authority and First Bank seems to have exclusivity with this PATH program. Right, so I'm gonna go down and uh, kind of tell you all about it here. So, on the website, um, they say that the PATH grant program strives to remove barriers to home ownership for the black and African American community in Colorado through down payment assistance of up to $15,000. So that is definitely not bad. Think about in the course of a home purchase, what $15,000 extra could mean for you. So um, why are they doing this, right? Right here on the website, they give you know some of the reasons why this program came about. And they say quite simply that owning a home is a key way to build wealth and equity. That vibes with my um, senses and a lot of the things that I say on not only on this channel, but you know, if you see me on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, even you know, TikTok, all that, if you see me on these um, social media channels, I'm pretty much always talking about what it's gonna take to build equity, grow wealth wise, investment wise, um, not just you know, picking up a house just to live in it, right? It's to further your investment growth further, your family's growth. That's what they're talking about here. Um, it is a path to financial stability. Um, access to safe and attainable housing is an important aspect of financial stability. That's written on their website. That's part of the reason why this program was enacted. It's a path to building net worth is what they say. Home ownership helps change a family's journey and helps build wealth for generations to come. One of the things that I'm always harping on, right? So this, this program is definitely speaking to me, right? It's, peak, it's speaking to an underserved community that needs a little bit of a jump start, And this is one of the ways that um, they're, they're going about trying to do that. And the last thing here they say is it's a path to growth. A home is a place to grow while creating memories that will last a lifetime. Eh, a little bit of fluff there, but it's true, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so who qualifies for a PATH grant? And they list off four key areas, right? Number one, available to income eligible black and African American borrowers. Um, having spoken a little bit more in depth with um, the representatives from First Bank, they told me that at least one of the, like let's say you're, you're doing a joint tenancy, you're, you're purchasing the home together with your spouse or whomever, at least one of those people needs to identify as black or African-American. And the number two qualification here states who are, they are first time home buyers and have completed a first time home buyers course. That is typical in some of these, um, you know, home buyers programs that, that there is a course to be completed, which is more than likely, you know, offered up by the, the granting authority. Uh, number three, when paired with a first bank mortgage, right? So you got to keep in mind that, that wording there, right? It says that it's paired with a first bank mortgage, which means that the two things are actually separate, right? Um, the, the mortgage and the grant don't have to happen. Um, they're, they're not inseparable, right? You could apply for a, a mortgage at First Bank and yeah, you could get completely approved and go through and purchase the house, no problem, right? But in order to qualify for this program, there is a completely separate application um, and you get approved through that. But when you combine the two, that's where you get this bang for your buck 
of you know up to fifteen thousand dollars that's the way i have it in my head here because you know that said when paired with a first bank mortgage and we'll talk a little bit more about that um in the next one so number four is it is for a purchase of a primary residence in colorado um, and the way i understand it is there are certain counties in colorado that this applies to the one that i'm in el paso county um, which holds, you know, Colorado Springs and Fountain and um, Peyton and, you know, those areas, um, they, they do qual that county does qualify. Now, they also give some of the frequently asked questions on this website, right? So one of the questions they find um, to be frequently asked is, how are PATH grants funded? And this is where you start to see a little bit more of that separation that I was talking about. I'll just go ahead and read this directly off the website, right? So PATH grants are funded with donations from community organizations, foundations, and for profits that recognize the barriers to home ownership faced by many Colorado families, especially members of the Black and African American community. First Bank and Colorado Housing and Finance Authority provided the inaugural funds to launch the PATH grant program. So now you kind of see that, you know, there's a pool of money that has been set aside for this grant. The loan itself is completely separate than that, okay? So when the, when the grant funds end, when, when they've been expended, then they, they've just been expended and that's it, you know, because it's kind of like donations. People have just, you know, organizations have just, you know, found it, beneficial to them and the community to donate to this in order for black and African Americans to participate. How can I apply? Well, you know, I'm not going to read this, but the gist of it is you apply directly through First Bank, right? And I will tell you that if you are seeing it through this video, um, what you want to do, reach out to me, I'll get you, you know, a whole lot more info. And then number two, I will also send you over to the two representatives that I talked to, which were Christy Lampool and Jesse Roker. They're both here in Colorado Springs. Um, they're loan officers and they'll be able to dig in and get you exactly the information you need. And you'll be able to apply for a um, mortgage loan directly through them. Um, but the reason I would like you to, you know, contact them is because, well, they're the ones that are pushing this information out there. That's how I found out more about it. Um, so why not give credit where credit is due? If you're if you're watching this video, then it's because of them that you found out about it. Right. So go ahead and give them credit where credit is due. Call them up. Let them walk you through the program. And, you know, honestly, I would love to to be able to assist somebody through this program as well. So please reach out to me um, and I'll do some digging depending on your particular situation as well. When will the program end? Now grants will be allocated in accordance with PATH grant program rules on a first come first served basis. So once again, I'm, it's, it's kind of hitting on that um, fact that the monies at some point will be depleted, right? And then it will be up to more organizations to actually replenish it somehow. Who knows if it'll be around next year? Um, to me, it sounds like there is a little bit of, you know, urgency that you should take in this. It started in, you know, June 2021. It's only 2023 right now, you know, who knows? I, I can't speak for them, but maybe it's sort of a, a test phase thing where if they don't get enough applicants and enough interest, then it, then it might go away. I have no idea. Um, but that could be the case. If nobody's using the funds, then it may not, it may not last. What I know right now is that um, according to the reps that I spoke with, um, since June 2021, they've helped over 150 families using this program. So that's pretty good. And, and I think that's just here in Colorado. Um, so who administers this program? It says the Impact Development Fund, the IDF, is a Colorado nonprofit that creates economic opportunity by delivering flexible capital to strengthen underserved communities. IDF will administer the program by issuing grant funds to eligible home buyers. Okay, 
So it's the IDF that administers it. Once again, you see that separation between the actual um, loan application and the actual grant, right? So the people that administer the grant are completely separate from the people who are doing the um, loan processing. Um, there is, you know, one other piece of information here um, that may be beneficial to you. So the income of the borrowers, um, it seems that it needs to be less than $148,120. Um, and that, that, that should be joint, right? So if you meet those requirements, um, and this is something that may interest you, then, hey, reach out to me, reach out to um, Jesse Roca or Christy Lempool from First Bank. I'll uh, provide their information in the uh, video notes here. Um, and let's, let's see if we can actually put this program to use. If you know anyone that um, might need this, same thing. You know, give them, give them my contact info, share this video with them, and let's, let's put some behind this program. Let's, let's put it to use, all right? Thanks for watching. It's Roman Real Estate.